Hi, this is a scandal. I wake up this morning with news that the BBC is running a headline saying that Perm Farthing's uh, charity, Nauzat, is being investigated for uh, misuse of funds on Operation Ark. Now, before I tell you what I think about this, I'm gonna let uh, Dominic Dyer, Ben's right-hand person in the UK for this massive operation to tell you more. And then I'm gonna tell you exactly what I think about this. Listen to this, Dominic Dyer. Well, I've woken up to news on the BBC this morning that Nauzad is being investigated by the Charity Commission. Well, let's just set the record straight from my perspective. Firstly, I volunteered my time free of charge to Nauzad because I believed in what they do and I believed in pen farthing. And I was completely committed to this humanitarian and animal welfare mission that proved successful and inspired this nation and millions of people around the world. I know that some people were never happy with what we did with the way that we managed to get the government to move, the veterinary industry to move, to get huge public support, and ultimately to save people and animals from Kabul when the government were making such a mess of trying to rescue others. The Ministry of Defence, the Secretary of Defence, his political aides. There are numerous people that could lodge complaints with the Charity Commission. But what the Charity Commission should not do is then basically start briefing the BBC and creating a major media storm to damage the reputation of a charity that has huge public support. At this stage, no investigation has been mounted. At this stage, nothing has been done to look at what the charity have been doing. And I believe no wrongdoing will be found. But they are being basically undermined by our public broadcaster, by the stories they are running this morning, which is an absolute disgrace. So I think questions need to be asked about who lodged the complaints with the Charity Commission. Have the Charity Commission been briefing the BBC? Why are the BBC giving this a headline news status? There seems to be efforts to undermine the reputation of this charity and people that have been involved in this amazing rescue effort. I'm not going to rest until we find out who's responsible, and I'll do all I can to defend the reputation of Penn Farthing, everyone involved in Operation Ark, and the millions of people who supported it. It's one of the best things that ever happened in this country. And it's a national disgrace that our public broadcaster is running a smear campaign this morning to try and, to try and undermine the reputation of this charity. That should never be happened. So, it is clear to me that this is part of a smear campaign. As, as, as Dominic said, what they should be looking at is who has contacted the BBC, which don't forget, is an organization, is a, is a broadcaster that is run on public funds, okay? It's run on public funds. How, how come is the BBC running these sort of headlines? Ben Farthing's rescue is the best thing that was ever done in animal rescue in the UK. And it's something that they should all be proud. I think what the, what, what the watchdog and what the authorities and what everybody should be looking at is who is behind this smear campaign? Who is trying to bring down the reputation of this amazing charity and of this incredible man? Maybe they should look at Ben Wallace, the disgraced uh, Secretary of Defense, a person that has been basically exposed to the world as a petty villain, as a revengeful individual, as somebody that shouldn't be in politics, but maybe is in politics because that's the kind of people that politics in the UK attracts. Maybe they should look at his, uh, his aides. Maybe they should look at other people in the shadows trying to bring down this cause and this charity. This organization donated to Penn's Rescue. Our friends donated to Penn's Rescue. Everybody knew what Penn was doing at every single moment. What do they think he was doing with the money? I mean, he didn't even have access to money. He was in Kabul, a place where it's not like there are cash points everywhere or, you know, ATMs where he could go and get money out. He himself knew that he didn't have any access to money. All his efforts were, were, were basically in the right direction. The staff are out. <laughs> we got them out of Afghanistan. Now, they say that they are looking at whether Operation Ark is in line with the charity's purpose. I mean, guys, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? He was trying to get out with all the dogs and with all the people. And at the end, or in the end, he managed to do exactly that. That was the most beautiful rescue operation ever. Um, the staff crossed the border um, this morning. Um, into Pakistan and they are now with the British High Commission in Islamabad. <laughs> yes! Millions of people 
around the world know about what happened because we could see it live, because we were, we were part of this. And no smear campaign by some spiteful and pitiful politician is going to bring this guy's name down. I also happen to know Pam Farden's integrity because many years ago I contacted him offering him a shortcut to get some animals out of uh, Afghanistan through our base, through our hub in Turkey. In that occasion he showed me to be a man of integrity. He didn't want to do anything that could be misconstrued as a way to uh, bypass uh, the UK's strict quarantine requirements. He wanted to do everything by the book. I mean, that, I mean, that day I knew Penn was a man of integrity. And he, this, this guy is incredible. But you all have seen it. You all have donated. I mean, is any of you worried that the money donated wasn't used in the right way? I mean, who, who is, I mean what are people thinking? That he was, he was at the Kabul uh, Four Seasons sipping martinis? Who do you think, I mean, who is he, James Bond? Come on, seriously. I mean, this is an amazing guy. I'm sure nothing is gonna come out of this investigation. The issue, is here, the issue here is who is trying to bring him down? Who is trying to smear him? What, what, what shady characters are behind these headlines? If anything, what they should be looking at is precisely that. Who is trying to bring Nausad down? From our side, let's adopt international from all the animal rescuers and animal people around the world, our support continues and will be here steadfast. This is an incredible guy, this is an incredible organization, and we're going to be right by his side till the very end. Well, actually, not until the very end. He's already out of, his, out of Kabul with all the animals and everyone else, as he promised. Unlike, unlike Boris Johnson's government, of course specialist in breaking, breaking, breaking promises. Thank you very much and I'll see you tomorrow. Ben, we're right at your side. Take care. Operation Ark, it would not have been possible without your amazing, amazing, amazing support. Um, you guys, oh my God, the love, the compassion, the generosity has just blown me away.